Hey, everybody, welcome to the video. So let me get rid of all this camera stuff here. Very cool. So somebody asked me recently, I was just doing well, a few minutes ago, a uh, consult with somebody. Uh, and they were asking me, is it normal? Does it make sense to learn multiple programming languages, to use multiple programming languages in your career as a coder? Short answer is, yeah, of course. It's very common. In fact, the vast majority of us will be using multiple languages in our coding career, sometimes and many times on the same project. So uh, this dude was loving Python, using Python to do what Python people do, scrape web pages, automate backend server processes. And he's interested in maybe getting into some WordPress, uh, deeper into WordPress, learning, of course, PHP, because WordPress is written in PHP. He was asking me, well, if I want to go full stack development, should I stick to Python and maybe go with Django, which is Python's backend framework, Django is, or maybe should jump to PHP. Well, it depends, you know. There are many different languages for a reason. Well, a few reasons. Number one, some nerd got bored one day and decided to build a new language because, because they had a very particular thing that they were doing and they felt they, they could create a language that was optimized for that thing, that task, that type of work that they were doing. So Python, as an example, was designed to be a multi-purpose, flexible language. It was designed to be able to take care of a common task that the, the guy who invented Python, Guido, was doing. I guess he was doing it in C or C++. And he figured, I would, I'd rather be able to write a lot less code to get the job done. And that's Python's strength. You write very little code. It's very expressive, meaning, meaning very little code gets a lot done, and it's very flexible. You'll find modules, packages, libraries, if you will. They call them modules in Python world. that allow you to do all kinds of different things, from building web apps, games, scraping web pages, and, uh, of course, ordering pizza from Domino's, I believe. So it's very flexible that way. How about PHP? I mentioned it earlier. What was PHP thing? Well, PHP was originally designed as a templating language to build the user interfaces for websites, for web apps specifically. And uh, he figured, the designer of uh, PHP, he figured that people would use C or C++ on the back end or something. But what he discovered over time, people started using PHP to actually as a programming language. So he started adding PH more and more to PHP over time. And that's part of the reason it's a little bit messy because he had, first of all, he, the intention was not to make PHP a programming language to begin with. And second of all, as he was adding to it, most of the people using PHP were not trained uh, computer, computer scientists or engineers. So he wanted to make it accessible and easy. He wanted to make PHP easy to learn, easy to deploy. And in fact, that's why PHP is the most used and popular server-side scripting programming language there is today. No question about it. A huge part of the internet runs on PHP, including big boys like uh, Facebook. So anyway, since that time, PHP has evolved quite a bit. It's now with a PHP 8 enterprise ready, meaning you can use PHP to build the largest of the projects out there. Anyway, if you're getting into WordPress, WordPress development, where there's a lot of money in that, it's PHP based. So learning PHP would allow you to create better themes, create custom plugins, extend WordPress's functionality. So back to the original question. Yeah, as a developer, you have to expect to be using multiple languages in your development career. And in fact, many times, especially if you're in the web stack, you're going to be using multiple languages in the same project. So any particular web app, you're going to be using HTML and CSS. They're not programming languages, but they are coding languages. Likely, you're going to be using SQL for the databases. Not 100%, but likely. And then you're going to be using JavaScript for sure, because the only game in town for writing code for the browser is JavaScript. And then on the server side, you have a whole bunch of options out there. You got Python with the Django framework or Flask. You got PHP. Uh, they got their own frameworks like Laravel and uh, Yi framework and Cake. Then you got, of course, Java with JSP and Servlets and Spring Boot. And you got C Sharp.net. VB, VB.net, I guess nobody uses that. And there's a whole bunch of other 
technologies out there. Of course, JavaScript on the server with uh, Node.js, Express is the most popular MVC framework in that world, as far as I know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, you're going to be using multiple languages just if you're building modern day web apps. So just get used to it. It's no big deal. Don't think that it's a daunting thing because it really isn't because once you've learned how to write code with, let's say, Python, for you to pivot into JavaScript won't be nearly as difficult, nearly as time-consuming as it was when you first learned Python. Same thing with PHP, with Java, C Sharp, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Programming languages are kind of like cars in that once you learn how to drive uh, manual with, let's say, I don't know, BMW, you can drive manual and all the other car brands yeah, buttons will be a little bit different here and there, but generally speaking, once you know how to drive, you know how to drive.